Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm uh, in our uh, milking parlor here again. I just finished giving a tour to some 4-H kids that uh, came to see the farm. And just before lunchtime, I thought I'd uh, film the Q&A video here for the, the last uh, video. Uh, there's a few questions that I wanted to uh, talk about. Uh, there was a question about how long it takes to uh, milk all of our cows. So we're milking about uh, 21 hours a day here in this parlor and then the rest of the time is spent washing the equipment and uh, washing the milk line so the milk lines wash automatically. It takes about uh, an hour per uh, washing time I guess. So that's how long it takes to milk a little under 1600 cows three times in our parlor. The other question was uh, about, I had mentioned that we don't collect individual milk, milk weights every milking and that's true but we do have somebody come in that tests all of our cows individually once a month that's called uh, DHIA. So they are in the basement with their own milk meters, they take a... a they, they read the pounds from every cow individually, plus they take a sample from each cow individually so that we can see what each individual cow's milk quality is, what their uh, butter fat and protein is, and then we can make some uh, decisions on our farm based on those records that we get from that. And there, there have been some questions about how much milk our cows produce in uh, several of the videos. So our cows are currently producing about 85 pounds of milk per day average. Uh, we're, our goal really is to be in the 85 to 90 pound-ish range, but we're not really looking at uh, just milk production. Uh, we're looking at how many pounds of butter fat and protein our cows are producing every day. Currently our cows are producing about 4.35% uh, butter fat and 3.35% uh, protein. And with uh, 85 pounds of milk that puts us at, at around uh, six and a half pounds or so of uh, butter fat and protein that each of our cows are producing every day and our, our goal really is to get up to seven pounds that that's uh, where we'd like to be it doesn't just take uh, high milk production to get there you have to have uh, good components so uh, yeah i guess i just share that with you guys there's been a lot of questions about our milk production how much cow our cows are producing the other question was about the size of our parlor and why we chose a parallel parlor so uh, I showed you our I showed you our holding area before. So our holding area is sized to hold about one pen of cows. So we can bring a whole pen of cows in here, and then our parlor is sized to be able to milk that one pen of cows within 45 minutes. The idea is is that we don't want our cows to be away from their pens for more than 45 minutes. So. Uh, it, it does take us about 45 minutes to milk one pen of cows and yeah so the, the last cows that are being milked in each pen they would be away from their feet for about 45 minutes but the rest would be less than that so that's the reason why our uh, holding area and parlor are sized the way they are uh, we we have a parallel parlor because that's what we had in canada that's what we were familiar with uh, rotaries are another option uh, don't know much about them. Uh, our parallel parlor here is very low maintenance. Uh, we rarely have any issues with with the milking equipment. It's, uh, we've actually never missed the milking before. We might be late an hour, hour and a half uh, occasionally, but uh, even that's really rare. Uh, so I guess, yeah, kind of the simplicity of it uh, is part of the reason why we went for the parallel parlor. If we were to do it again, maybe we would look at rotaries uh, a little bit more. We're, where our parlor is at now, size-wise, is about capacity for how many cows we're milking. So if we wanted to milk more cows, we'd either have to add on to our parlor or uh, milk them at a different uh, location, I guess. The, uh, the other question was about our exit gates. So I talked about these gates here. Uh, they lift straight up when the whole row of 24 cows is finished and the cows walk straight out, the, the gate drops straight back down and then a new group of cows will walk in. So we remodeled this, uh, it must have been in about 2013. What we used to have were gates that would swing open like this and then the cow would walk out and then it would swing back down and then uh, the next group of cows comes in 
we we didn't like that because sometimes uh, the, so you'd open the gates the cows would walk out and they would stand uh, not far enough away from the gates to be able to swing them back down uh, where with this design it's straight up the cows walk out and it's straight back down so we can uh, raise it and lower it quicker than we could before and part of the reason we went that way was uh, when we did a we did a parlor expansion in 2013 so we were originally a double 16 because we weren't milking as many cows then then we went to a double 24 and yeah it made sense at that time to uh, then go to this style gate because we were already adding new gates on either side the other question was about the size of our bulk tank and our silo so our bulk tank is about 7200 gallons uh, worth of milk and we used to have two of those uh, bulk tanks and then uh, about two years ago we uh, traded one bulk tank for that milk silo which holds about 40,000 gallons worth of milk so we don't ever milk that silo full but we have it just in case we have inclement weather and our uh, milk trucks are not able to get here or they're not able to get from here to the processing plant so with, with those two, with the, the tank and the silo, we can hold uh, about two and a half to close to three days worth of milk, which is the maximum we can uh, store milk on the farm here without washing our tank and silo. So uh, that's the reason why we have uh, that size of milk silo, I guess. We normally just go back and forth uh, when we're shipping milk. We don't, uh, we'll milk the tank full every time, but we don't milk our silo full unless we need to because of uh, yeah, bad roads or maybe sometimes they do maintenance at the plant and they can't deliver milk on uh, one day of the week, uh, things like that. I think that was uh, all the questions that I wanted to talk about today. I uh, yeah, appreciate you guys watching and uh, hopefully we'll see you in the next video.